Hi there. If this is your first time joining us, my name is John, my friend's name is Steve, and every week Steve gives me great movie recommendations. He is known as the Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Come on. By the time you got here, kid. Ooh, Johnny. Tired Old Queen at the Movies. I thought I would tell my favorite version of the Titanic story, which is the version that was shot in 1953 at 20th Century Fox by Jean Negulesco. This was the first full-length version of the disaster. It starred Clifton Webb and Barbara Stanwyck as this unhappily married couple. She's taking the kids and she's trying to flee to the other to the United States without his knowing it. And he comes and books passage on the ship to try to stop her. It's an it's a fictional story set with disaster as a basis. Thelma Ritter. By the time we dock, I'm going to be one long loaf of liverwurst. Brian O'Hearn is the captain, and Robert Wagner, who looks... I think they took this plot for James Cameron's Titanic, because he it's very, very similar, and he looks very much like Leonardo does in this movie. He's incredibly beautiful. This was the first time that they did this movie when people who had survived the disaster were still uh, alive. And 20th Century Fox decided it would be a nice thing at the premiere in New York to invite survivors to see this movie, not, to, not realizing this was the worst night they ever had in their lives. So they all show up and these people are hysterical. They have to be carried out of the theater. They're in the lobby hysterically crying. Life magazine is there photographing all these older ladies like collapsing because they'd watch their husbands drown on the Titanic. It was pretty, you know, not very smart of them. But the movie was a big box office hit. All right, give me one of them paddles. Stanwyck looks so, so beautiful and classy in those turn-of-the-century outfits. And at one point, she and Clifton Webb have this dramatic confrontation where he says, You crazy woman! No court in the world, no power under heaven can force me to give up my son. He is not your son. And walks down the hallway. It's amazing. The screenplay won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay of the Year. I cannot recommend this movie enough. And it always makes me think that the great lesson of the Titanic disaster has always been ignored, which is no man should ever go on a boat without a dress. No dress, no place in the lifeboat. Keep that in mind, Johnny, if you ever take a transatlantic cruise. And now, where is my dress anyway? Let's all go to the... Pay a thousand dollars to ride in the greatest ship that was ever built in three days out. Somebody pokes a hole in it. Why don't they catch it up and leave us alone? Delicious things to eat. 